Alright guys, so like I said, I was going to talk about um, the full revealed teams uh, on the gold team when everyone was revealed there. And they have. Um, sorry this is late, I was kind of busy, but anyway, moving on. Uh, let's get started from le um, left to right, like I said. Um, I don't think I need to talk about uh, Uncanny X-Force much because I, it's pretty much everyone predicted this team, so it was no big surprise there. So let's just move on to the three teams that uh, are... Um, actually, let's talk about the most surprising, Wolver Logan's team on Wolverine and the X-Men. Uh, this team is pretty <laughs> interesting because here we have Kitty and Lockheed. I kind of expected they'd be on the team. I pretty much figured that those two would be on the team. You know, they've always been pretty... Um, Kitty, at least, has been pretty loyal to uh, Wolverine. Uh, we have Beast, although some people are saying that could be Dark Beast. I'm hoping that's not because uh, even uh, the reason why I think it's Beast is because he looks more cat-like. Dark Beast looks more ape-like, like, like um, Hank did in the '90s. Um, he looks like '90s uh, Beast. That's how you can tell. That's how I always could tell Dark Beast from, you know, Six One Six Beast. So I'm pretty sure that's Hank back on a team, which is good because it's nice to know that he'd be back on the X-Men. Not that I mind him on the Secret Avengers though. Uh, next up is Iceman. Thank God, I was glad, because, you know what? They haven't been using Iceman much. They really don't use a lot of Iceman in the X-Men books, so maybe Jason Aaron can bring out Iceman. Uh, next up is Heidi. I mean, Idy. Idy, I think that people are saying that's Idy, that mutant um, that's been part of Schism that can control fire and ice. Um, she's been kind of like a, a plot device through some of the points in Schism, so... Um, yeah, I think that's her. I could be wrong, because I can't tell who that is. I still can't tell, and like I said, I haven't been keeping up with X-Men recently, so that could be anybody, but I think that's supposed to be ID. Um, or whatever mutant name she's taken, whatever superhero name she's taken. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's supposed to be ID. Anyway, moving on to uh, Kid Omega. Yeah, Kid Omega is on the team. The guy who pretty much kicked up the hornet's nest in Schism. For those who remember, in Schism Number 1, Kid Omega walked into the UN and used his mutant power to make everyone, conf con all the politicians confess their greatest sins. My biggest thing is that, why is Logan letting him on his team? Does he just need a psychic on the team, or or what? I don't know. Um, he's he's also a mutant, ex uh, you know, Omega is also a, a mutant extremist, so how is Lo why is Logan letting him on the team? Who can say? But... That's an interesting choice, nonetheless. And finally, we have Toad. Yeah, Toad's right over there. I don't know if you guys can see him or not, but yeah, Toad will be on Logan's team. Last time I thought, last time I read an X-Men book, Toad died, but then again, characters in the X-Men books don't stay dead forever. So, um, yeah, Toad, and from what I hear, he's trying to be a good guy, so... I don't know, again, I don't know why Logan would let someone like Toad on his team. Um... But it's it's interesting nonetheless. I think he had. I think Wolverine and the X Men has the most interesting lineup. So, yeah. Moving on to Rogue's team. Now I don't know the the girl on the on the right hand side. Um, like I said, not <laughs> I have been keeping up with X Men a lot. But I'm glad um, Rachel Summers is on the team. That's awesome. Cause I thought. Cause some people were. It was a rumor that going around that um, Miss Sinister was going to be part of that team. I don't know, that would have been odd. And of course, Gambit's on the team, I'm glad for that. And uh, Rogue. So we have four mutants on X-Men Legacy, so that's going to be that's gonna be cool. Um, and finally, who probably has the biggest team, in my opinion... Yeah, th this is probably the biggest team, X-Factor. Um, X-Factor has the biggest lineup, with a majority of them, you know, from the 90s lineup of X-Factor. That's what I find interesting the most, is that um, Peter David went back to the 90s, a kind of like a mixture of the current and 90s lineup of X-Factor. So we have, like, Richter, Madrox, Siren. I know she's called uh, Banshee now, but she's still Siren to me. Wolvesbane, Strong Guy, Polaris. And I'm sorry if you guys can hear any background noise. That's my sister and her friend being stupid. Uh, we have Longshot. Now, now, that's interesting, because I thought Longshot was dead. I thought, um... Well, actually, no, I remember now that Longshot was uh, in X-Factor before, so forget I said that. I just had that little brain fart there. 
Um, and of course, Madrox, because everyone was saying, well, where's Ma Madrox? Um, where is he in this whole event? Well, there he is. He's still part of X Factor. And I'm glad Polaris and Havoc are going to be back on the team. I think that's really cool. But all in all, I um, think this is all a good lineup. I, fr I pretty much think these are the guys who I knew who were going to follow... Who are going to follow... Um, Logan. So, you know, you guys tell me what do you think of this, uh, of Logan's gold team, and since there's like eight books out now, what books are you going to read more? Are you going to follow more of Scott's team, or are you going to follow more of Logan's team, and what books from, or you can, or guys are probably going to follow like, all four, I don't know. Um, I'm probably going to stay out of this, because like I said, I've been kind of staying out of Marvel stuff for a while, and I'm starting to fall out of DC stuff more, and go more the independent. So, yeah. All in all, hope you guys have enjoyed this. You guys tell me what do you think of uh, Logan's gold team, and I'm out.